creating bottom-up assemblies. When we create bottom-up assemblies, we already have individual part files created. So to get started, I'm going to go up to New. I'm going to go into my metric and go to my standard millimeter uh, IAM for my assembly file and say Create. Now, I'm going to come over here into my component. I'm in the assembly tab. I'm going to go to the component panel. I'm going to go to place component. So I say I'm going to place. You'll ask me for a file, the place file. I pick it in my uh, folders. I pick the, the file that I'm looking for. So I'll start with part number three. And then I can choose the file name down here. Uh, what kind of file type it is and say open and now it's going to bring it in into my uh, drawing I can pick and now I mean I have another copy of that component placed on my cursor I can place more and more copies of this in maybe I have a bunch of bolts I have to put a multiple bolts in if I'm done I can just hit escape um, now I need to place another part in so I go up to the place and I'll choose part number four and I'll say open now in this particular case I want to rotate this so I'm going to right click to get my marking menu I'm going to say rotate it 90 degrees you can see that's kind of backwards I got to do it one more time I'm going to rotate it again and right click and rotate it again now I have it so that it's going to slide in here and park in here I'm just going to place it out here uh, relatively close and now remember I can place multiple copies of my components in my assembly file when I'm creating bottom-up assemblies I'm done with this so I'm going to hit escape and I have now placed two parts into my assembly parts three and four here now the first part if I wanted it grounded at the origin I can right click and I can come over here and say grounded and when I do that it puts a push pin over here you can see where I have my push pin over here under the assembly that's locked down at the origin of this assembly uh, remember that all my degrees of, of freedom then are fixed when I lock that down uh, so um, so I can do that if I like and I can keep adding in different components into my assembly and once we get them in my assembly then we can add some constraints but this is a bottom up assembly where we have the components already made and we're going to place them into the assembly Typically, you want to place the components in in the way you would assemble the object. So you, the first part would be the first part, and then the second part that you would put onto the first part is the next component in. So you always put them in the order in which you would naturally assemble the parts.